And we are coming to you live dito po sa loob ng Davao del Norte Sports and Tourism Complex Gym dito sa kabisera ng Davao del Norte, Tagum City. And this is the final day of the elimination round dito sa ating Pilipinas Super League. 18 under Mindanao South Leg as all five teams are trying to jockey their positions as they're trying their best to head on into the semi-final round dito sa ating Pilipinas Super League. 18 under Mindanao South Leg. And this is, good. This is our final double header for this afternoon dito sa, ating, uh, dito sa ating elimination now as Brian Howe and the rest of the Emmanuel School of Davos squad will try to solidify their position as they're now this this as they're now in their in two wins and one loss dito sa kanilang campaign samantala ang Timber City Academy they're trying their best to have another chance to advance in the semi-final round as Yuraran and the rest of the Timber City Academy Dragon squad mula sa Butuan City they're trying to make a statement if they want to move on into the next uh, round as we have our games for today. Ngayong oras na ito, ISD Pacman will face the Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan City. And at around 6 p.m. will be the Cantilan RP Braveheart Kugmark contra sa Dove North Future Legends. So it's going to be an actual pack afternoon as we go along on our final day of the elimination round dito sa ating PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg. Ugsa ka mayong hapon, Luzon, Visayas ug Mindanao, mga super fans. Ako po si Ray Alonsagay. And ako si Jewel Evangelio and maraming salamat sa pag-tune in dito sa Pilipina Super League 18 under. Right. So, mga ka super fans, thank you very much for watching us on our live stream on Facebook and YouTube. So, sa ating mga ka super fans, you can follow games highlights on your favorite teams sa ating Facebook at Instagram account sa Pilipina Super League. And we also have our fan page at Pusong PSL. And you can check games and highlights from your favorite teams sa, bagong, at, sa ating bagong channel sa TikTok and YouTube at Pusong uh, TSL underscore TV. So, Joel, ito na ang final day sa ating elimination round. So, let's take a look at the team standings as of the moment. Yes, and nakikita natin na ah, undefeated ang Max Ballers after that game yesterday. Ang second naman yung ISD Pacman na ah, 2-1. And they're looking to solidify, as I said earlier, yung kanilang number two seed ngayon na game. Mm -hmm. And one and two ang Davnor, pati Bra uh, Cantilan Bravehearts, and O oh and three ang Timber City after losing to Bravehearts yesterday. Alright, so since napag-usapan natin ating team scandings, let's head it over to our first game for today. Victory is the goal between ISD Pacman at Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan City Jewel. Yes, and nakita natin na uh, itong, itong both teams are really capitalizing the opportunity to be here in PSL 18 under. And despite O3 and Timber City, they are still here to play and looking forward to get that first win. Okay, pag-usapan natin ang ISD Pacman who lost yesterday against Max Ballers Davao as they lost 99 to 82 over the Max Ballers Davao. Yes, squad. and especially isa sa mga mga key reasons kung bakit natalo sila is because bumalik yung star player ng Max Ballers which is si Cabonillas and mm -hmm. yung presence alone ni Cabonillas on the defensive end yung nababother yung shots ng mga big mans ng ISD Pacman. That's right. So samantala naman ang Timber City Academy, they're still winless so far in the elimination round. As they lost to Cantilan RP Braveheart Goldbart, they were almost there but they fell short against Cantilan. Yes, and uh, that was an entertaining game and both teams really gave their all. Pero, ang Timber City, nakukulang din kanilang players kapon. Wala yung mga key players na like sila Budlao and Sabatin. Pero, Cantilan capitalized it with Tawaka leading the way. Right now, uh, Raymark Budlao, number 15, is now available to play. So, this could be a good um, opportunity for Timber City Academy to match up against the uh, ISD Pacman uh, uh, Pac squad. So, coming right up is ISD Pacman and Timber City Academy. So, let's turn it over to our venue announcer. That's uh, Mr. Ron Ronald Mena. Thank you. 
Ito ating superstars of the ball game brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance. Panalo sa laro, panalo sa buhay. For Timber City Academy, we have De La Cruz, Rosales, Medina, Sinok, at Limusnero. Samantala ang ISD Pacman, we have Constantino, Pineda, Labawan, Yamut, at Kudo. So this could be an interesting matchup here. As Timber City Academy looking for their first and important win if they want to move on into the semifinal round. Meanwhile, for ISD Pacman, they're looking for a statement victory if they want to secure the position into the semi-final round. And both teams are getting set and ready to go for, these, uh, for this ball game. This is our first game of our double header for this afternoon. So kahit malapit na ang tag-ulan dito, pero mainit na ang labanan dito. Ball is up and ball controls for the white shirts. And the PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg is presented by Manila Packers Life Insurance. And co-presented by SCD, Perfect Care Free Skin, Bumper Cartilage, Dave Project Photoshop, and CSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg is powered by Conserve and F25, our official broadcasting partner of the PSL, and supported by NBC Sports Incorporated, our official ball of the Philippines. Hotel Sogo, so clean, so good. Blue Sky Advertising, WQ Solutions Incorporated, and the ESL 18 under Midanao South Leg is in cooperation with the local government of Double Del Norte. So, what are you going to do with the Timber City Academy? Yes, and uh, speaking of Timber City, off to a good start, sila. Or in Oogad, in the first one minute of the, of the quarter, and currently, uh, meron na yung. Uh, ang strategy siguro nila is to at least mga take advantage talaga nila yung mga fast break opportunities nila. So for a whole start for Timber City Academy and we have a loose ball and Lee Constantino with the first field goal. And it looks like we have a problem with our game clock dito sa loob ng Davnor Sports and Tourism Gym. 
So it's now a 4-2 ball game in favor of Timber City Academy. So they're trying to check the, uh, the time. So the officials at the scores table trying to make sure na tama yung naisiset na oras dito sa loob ng Davnor Sports and Tourism Complex Gym. So scoring agad ang uh, both teams dito. This is a must-win situation, as most especially for Timber City Academy from Butuan Jewel. Yes, and currently, uh, yung players from ISD Pacman, alam naman nila na... na kaya nila mas solidify yung sarili nila as a number two after surviving Davnor and mm. currently even though nanatalo sila sa Max Bowlers meron pa rin silang chance para to end the season with a with a bang mm -hmm. and Timber City also has the chance na hindi rin makauwi na hindi makapanalo mm -hmm. so if you are here in PSL 18 under your number one goal is to win that's right I mean, every game is at stake, but uh, all teams, they want to finish their campaigns on a pretty high note, and especially for uh, all teams participating in this game. It's a lot of night, though. Raymark would now have a good for crossover. And drive inside, and taken away by Zeno Pineda. Here comes JP Pudo, one of the Spitfire guards of the tournament. The ball is a uh, match of basketball. Yes, and you can really feel the presence of Budlao just entering the court because nung game nila previously against uh, Timber City versus Cantilan uh, na-feel mo talaga yun na nakulangan ng scoring yung Timber City right uh, and uh, yung uh, absence of production ni uh, Raymar Pudlao uh, really impacted negatively for Timber City Academy as they lost to Cantilan uh, 69-64 uh, yesterday uh, from uh, Timber City Academy give it go play Good game and good play there, and Jalen Mustero, right place at the right time. Good game, uh, Kevin Slinitos, Matita ni Mustero, at ni Raymar Kulao. Yamot, who's makabawe, hits a three. Not leave that man wide open. Yamot, hand down, man down. So that will be boy shots, and they convert in Jared Yamot yesterday, despite the loss of Batman against Max Bond. Yes, and they need Yamot to keep on shooting, but at least, that's not a good game for the score, man. Another foul play inside to that game between uh, Butlao and Limusnero for two. And yun yung missing kahapon, Butlao and Limusnero. Limusnero was reckless with his quarter. And si Yamon, kabawi kaya. Missing tira. Raymar Butlao, and we'll start here. This is the first quarter for the University Academy. Against Jared Yamon, solo pass. Rosales, Rio de la Cruz, with one to shoot. By Raymark Budlao. Raymark Budlao swatted it. Good defensive play there. As we take a look at the Manila Bankers super shot of the quarter. And that's a three-point shot. Mula kang Jared Yamot. And it's an 8-5 to five score. We have a timeout on the floor. We'll be right back. Back to live action dito sa loob ng Davnor Sports and Tourism Complex Gym dito sa Tagum City. As uh, Timber City Academy, we have a pretty good start led by Raymark Budlao Jewel. Yes, and uh, Raymark Budlao really, really started up well here. Especially na, na, I think na meron pa siyang gigil. Kasi yung kapon grabe, missed opportunity talaga yun para mm -hmm. sa uh, Timber City. If, let's say, who knows, if meron si, si Budlao nung na game against uh, Tawakal and... Kantilan, maybe the story would be, would be different. So, you know, this is an underrated skill that he really marked now. He's passing the basketball because he's a shooter. So, he marked now. Yes, and uh, he wants to, to get his teammates in order. And on the other side, there's Arnold in close up. His first field goal of the game. Not a good idea there. The inbound is a turnover. It's the 
Rachman will take possession here. Yes, and in that full, uh, half full court press by Ayan Lee Bachman, the first of the What a move by Prince Navarro, and that is his first field goal of the ball game. Oh, Prince wow. Navarro, good move there. Now 9 to 8. Coming up, Ayan Lee Bachman gave us the first quarter. Once again, it's going to be a high scoring affair between these two teams. Raymark Budlao flying high for two. Yes, Raymark Budlao all the way there. So it's now 10 to 9, so it's a seesaw battle early in this ball game. Another defensive stop and a counter defensive play there for the Orange Shirts. Mm. Good play, but Minti Sintira from Minosa. And Rosales trying to secure here for the White Shirts of Timber City Academy. Gideon de la Cruz. Has been one of the difference makers last time around against Cantilan yesterday. Yes, Gideon de la Cruz really, really step up out of, out of his comfort zone, knowing na wala si Budlaut para patulong ng scoring kapon. And Jay Lumasnero scores. So, a good athletic move by Jay Lumasnero, able to uh, break through the defense and hits the two point shot. Jay Lumasnero needs more shot selection uh, like those because as. Paso Quintira needs Jemuel Baliares. Yes. That's the first field goal of the ball game for him. Yes. And almost a steal there. That's number 13, Kurt Polancos, number 13. Yes, and going back to Jaylen Musnero. Jaylen Musnero is really a good player. Pero meron talagang times na yung mga shot selection niya, medyo off. Mm -hmm. Kaya, nung nangyari kahapon, uh, first quarter medyo reckless siya. Pero pagdating oh. sa second quarter, nakabawi din. Medyo nag-improve yung shot selection din uh, yesterday. Especially in the first half for Jaylen Musnero. Here comes the transition play. Whoa, what a move. Pero Mintis yung tira. And Polancos has it. Prince Tavaro now on the push for the Orange Shirts. And Patrick Bagao lays it home. Patrick Bagao continuing from a great game from yesterday. So he had a decent performance in the second half yesterday against Max, uh, Max Ballers Davao. Yes, and to cap it all off, Bagao was up against Cabonillas. Oh, oh. Limusnero lays it home and a foul. A play there by Jay Limusnero. A great grit and grind mentality for this, for this kid. And he's an undersigned center. Uh, remember, guys, as we take a look at the Super Dime of the Quarter brought to you by J Product Clothing Shop. Beautiful bounce pass from Prince Tavaro to Pratik Bagao for the two points. So at the line for the bonus shot is Jay Limusnero, who had a de decent production in the second half. Yes, and Jay Limusnero, ala kilala ang kilala yun siguro sa Timber City. Especially na ngayon, nandito na siya sa PSL 18 under. Mm, so, mas malaki na kanyang resume ngayon. That's right. So a special shout out to our super fans mula sa Butuan City, mula sa Agusan del Norte. So sa kamayang hapon sa ating mga super fans diha. And on the other side, what a deflection by Rosales. And there's the leak out. And the shot is good. And that is courtesy of Christian Lascunia. A good contribution there for the role players of Timber City Academy as we have a timeout. It's a 17 to 13 lead for Timber City Academy. The fastest growing fiber internet got even faster. Again, dahil ang doble na, di noble pa. Converge Fiber X Plan 1.5 from 100 Mbps is now 200 Mbps. Doble ulit ang bilis. Doble ulit ang sulit. If you're an existing subscriber, automatic upgrade ito. And if you want to make it permanent, just agree to our new terms and conditions. As simple as that, no new application, and it's absolutely free. New Converge Fiber X Plan 1.5. Ang dobleng sulit new offers from Converge. Doble na, di noble pa. And back to live action, dito sa Tagum City, Davao del Norte. And we would like to thank Manila Bankers Life Insurance, Panalo sa Laro, Panalo sa Buhay. And by Converge. And by J Project Clothing Shop. So it's now a 17-13 to 13 lead. A good start so far for Timber City Academy. Yes, this is the Timber City that we needed yesterday. And JP Kudo right now for ISD Pacman needs to get more involved here as he converts there. Thank you. Oh, naipasok yung field goal dyan yes. off the timeout yes, for JP. Yes, ako ni JP Kudo. <laughs> Mukha nga. Now here comes Raymark Budlao trying to score here inside. Deflected, knocked away. Here comes JP Kudo trying to go on the running start and sets it up. Oh, that was a wild shot there. 
And looks like an offensive foul against the Orange Shirts. Yes, and I think that ISD Pacman needs more uh, needs this win more than Timber City. Because the momentum talaga na oh. galing ka na panalo, heading into semifinals. Yun maka confidence boost talaga yun. That's right. So it's now 17 to 15. Still a pretty close game between these two squads. We have four minutes and ten seconds to play. Sating first quarter. It looks like a backcourt violation against Timber City Academy. Yes, and uh, starting off the first quarter, kakaiba talaga yung yung per, uh, yung chemistry between Budlaw and Limusnero. Nakita pa oh. lang natin, meron na silang signs of yung parang one-two punch ng, oh, oh. ng isang ano, manlalaro. That's right. Just solid yung chemistry dito between these two players. And that's why they're the key contributors so far in this tournament. JP Kudo trapped inside. And uh, off the transition play, there's a foul against the Orange Shirts. So far right now, let's see. It's the second team foul for ISD Pac-Man. Samantala, ang, um, Timber City Academy with their first team foul. So it's now the third team foul right now for ISD Pac-Man with 3.52 to play dito sa ating first quarter. Yes, and pinalabas mo na ni Coach si JP Kudo. I think na kailangan din nila ng, you know, to calm it down a little bit. Oh, oh. We mark Budlao. And there's a drive inside. Minti Sindira. And Patrick Bagal secures the board. Now in the hands of Kurt Polancos, number 13. Back to Prince Tavaro for three. Spins out. And look at that offensive rebound by Arnold Mendoza, but he'll troop to the line for two shots. So it's now 17 to 15. So Arnold Mendoza will have the chance to tie the ball game here early in this first quarter. Yes, Arnold Mendoza really is a key role player for ISD Pacman, knowing, knowing his role, being there to get the rebound right place at the right time. Oh, isa sa mga, ano yan, mga top big men for Coach Ra Rael Diaz ng uh, ISD Pacman. And he had a, a pretty de decent contribution uh, yesterday against Max Ballers Dava. Yes, and yung mga, yung mga players natin, hindi lang kasi yung points yung dapat nila issue showcase dito, kundi yung ibang uh, rebounds, highlights. And on the other side, basket counts and a foul. That's Kurt Polancos. Kirk Polhankos, good cut there, getting the end one. Oh, that was a good heads-up play also for the Orange shirts of ISD Pacman. So he has a chance for the three-point opportunity for Kurt Polhankos. So he has a chance to take the lead here for ISD Pacman. Spins out. Mm. Would have been another offensive rebound opportunity for Patrick Bagao, but last touch by Patrick Bagao rather. So the white shirts of Timber City Academy will take advantage here in this possession. So, yes. so ito, main bold hander dito, itong si Raymark uh, Budlao here, now bothered by Kurt Polancos. Mm. And stripped away, here comes Patrick Bagao on the penetration! He'll go to the line for two shots. Yes, and earlier, yung nakita natin na yung ISD Pacman, naka full court press. Mm -hmm. So, if I were Coach, uh, Coach Joseph, oh. kailangan, kailangan din natin ng spacing kasi oh. kaya, na, kaya sila natatrap kasi lahat ng mga players nila nasa half court. Dapat oh. yung iba nasa kabila na. Pagsin ko itong si, especially kang Patrick Bagao and other players for ISD Pacman, they're looking to attack, to fish fouls. Yes, and kailangan din nila yun kasi uh, Nakita natin na when you draw defenders, mas marami pang ma-open. Mm -hmm. And when you pile up the team fouls against the opponent, mas marami pa tayong opportunities na to contribute in the free throw line. Uh, tayo basok yung dalawang free throws for ISD Pacman from Patrick Bagal. So, there's a look of uh, assistant coach Jimmy Colicot of ISD Pacman. So, we're now under 2 minutes and 55 seconds to play dito sa ating first quarter. So it's a 19-7 advantage, 17 advantage for ISD Pacman. Gideon de la Cruz now handing the basketball here for the white shirts. Trying to go on the penetration. And looks like uh, almost a deflection. Ball is loose. And Lumostero now has it. A good stop here defensively. And Prince Tavaro trying to go all the way with his left hand for two. Prince Tavaro fast as a lightning there. Oh, mabilis talaga yung attacking in transition for ISD Pacman as we have a timeout for Timber City Academy. And 
And we're back inside the Davnor Sports and Tourism Complex Gym dito sa Tagum City. And we would like to thank MDC Sports Incorporated, the official basketball of the PSL. And by SCD, perfect care for your skin. And by Hotel Sogo, so clean, so good. So, two and a half minutes to play dito sa ating first quarter. So, medyo sloppy na yung mga possessions so far for Timber City Academy here, Joel. Yes, and ISD Pacman smells blood there. So, kailangan nila i-take advantage yun. And trying to go on a bounce pass. Good ball movement here for Timber City Academy. Mm. Oy, medyo kapos na yung tira there for Timber City Academy. Prince Navarro trying to push once again. Ooh. Drops it off. And Defensor scores. Good vision there from Tavaron. He knows where his teammates are. So, pasok yung tira doon. Mula kang Hansel Defensor. To make it 23-17. to Jay Lumisnero, gusto makabawi against Defensor. And he was bumped and fouled by Hansel Defensor. As we take a look at the super play of the quarter brought to you by Converge. There's that beautiful fast break opportunity for Prince Tavaro with his left hand for two. Prince Tavaro stepping up. Habang si JP Kudo, pahinga muna sa bench. Mm -hmm. So Prince Tavaro definitely stepping up here on the uh, ad absence of JP Kudo. And three-point shot knocks it down. Mula kang Gideon de la Cruz. Gideon de la Cruz. Hand down, man down. Patrick Bagao. Gusto ng atake. Strong move pero he had too many steps there on the inside. Patrick Bagao needs to... Chill out more. Uh, hindi si Cabonilas yung kalaban niya ngayon. Oh, oh. Kayang-kaya, knowing the size difference, kayang-kaya ni Patrick Bagao to have a shot selection na more efficient. I think he needs to work more on his, uh, also his ball handling skills, yung ball control niya, especially when he wants to drive inside against the defense. So we're under 90 seconds to play dito sa ating first quarter. So both teams now with four team fouls right now. Gideon De La Cruz on the pull-up. Mm. Yes! Good back-to-back -back place there for Gideon De La Cruz. So quick 5-0 run by Gideon De La Cruz for the white shirts. And it's now a one-point game. And another beautiful mm. pass from Prince Tavaro to Hansel Defensor. Prince Tavaro sliding it up here in the first quarter. Oh. So even though nasa foul trouble itong si JP Kudo, itong Prince Tavaro really stepping up for the orange shirts. Oh, what a beautiful spin Ooh. move. But that was deflected. Blocked shot. Lasa ISD Pacman from Jasper Ubas. Jasper Ubas being there in the right place at the right time. They need to continue more defensive plays like that. And off the inbounds, there's a quick jump shot. Knocks it down. And that's from Troy Sino. So another contributor here for Timber City Academy in this first quarter. Mm. And another steal for Timber City Academy. Uh, now on the running start. And there's a foul against Ubas. And penalty situation na ang ISD Pacman. Yes, ang ISD Pacman. Medyo, medyo kumpiyansa ngayong first quarter. Mm. Uh, knowing na sila, isa sila sa mga aggressive ng mga, play, ng mga teams dito sa PSL 18 under. Medyo, uh, wala, hindi, hindi nila uh, nilive up yung kanilang pinaka-potential dito na quarter. So that's Troy Sinok for two free throw shots. Romintis lang yung unang free throw for uh, Troy Sinok. He still has another chance with his uh, second free throw shot. And he has been one of the contributors so far uh, as a role player for Timber City Academy throughout this tournament. And sinks the second. And we're tied at 25. Here comes Polancos on the penetration. A oh, good defensive stop there for the white shirts. Ito, now th there's the running start and a beautiful finish. And that is from Orgen Acuna. And looks like there's a foul here against the white shirt. So this time around, Timber City Academy could be in the penalty situation. We have 18.9 seconds to play in the starting first quarter. Yes, and I think now both teams were too aggressive this quarter. And ang nangyari, uh, ayun penalty ng dalawa. Mm -hmm. And I think na dapat when it comes to the second quarter. They need to be more selective sa kanilang mga defensive fouls. Kasi, when you foul, dapat in order na hindi rin makascore yung kalaban. Oh. Stop with the unnecessary fouls. And second free throw is missed, but offensive rebound by Bagal. Sobra lang yung tira. And we're down to 14 seconds to play the first quarter. Acuna! Mintis! And deflected. And looks like last touch by one of the white shirts, I believe. So, 
The ball will go to ISD Pacman with nine seconds to play in this starting first quarter. Now Prince Tabaro, one of the key contributors so far for the Orange Shirts, goes to behind the back, looking for another teammate. Ubas, extra pass, three-point shot, no good, and that is the end of the first quarter. So it's a seesaw affair between the two teams, the ISD Pacman and the Timber City Academy of Butuan City. Fast pace and high scoring itong dalawang team so far in this first quarter. Yes, and talagang uh, nakikita natin na gusto, gusto talaga ng Timber City na makuha tong unang panalo nila. As we take a look at the first quarter, High Eyes brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance. Panalo sa laro, panalo sa buhay. So, Jaylen Mastero with a decent production so far in this first quarter. At samantala, ang ISD Pacman, good production as well for uh, the role players uh, especially from Prince Tavaro Jewel. Yes and it was uh, and Timber City was led by their leaders Budlao and Limusnero. And at the end of the first quarter Timber City up by 1. to live action dito sa loob ng Dabnor Sports and Tourism Complex dito sa Tagum City. And this is the final game day action sa ating elimination round ng PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg. And this is our first game of our doubleheader for this afternoon between ISD Pacman contra sa Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan City. Yes, and Timber City with a great first quarter. They mm -hmm. need to be uh, they need to be consistent when it comes to performing in the defensive end. Kasi, mm. yun nababother talaga yung mga players from ISD Pacman. And especially, mm. JP Kudo needs to step up more here. So, balikang JP Kudo has been silent so far in the, in the first half. Ryan Howe from the elbow. Minti Sintira. And battle for the loose ball. And ball will stay with the white shirt. So, uh, orange shirts rather of ISD Pacman. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Now, JP Kudo has it once again against GD on De La Cruz. Drives inside with a scoop shot, Mintis. Brian Howe going to work for his first few goal of the first half. Brian Howe pounding the paint. Kailangan natin ng, ng mga more hustling plays there from Brian Howe. Oh, also, yung mga big man ng uh, ISD Pacman needs to perform well in this uh, ball game against a smaller uh, Timber City Academy here, Joel. Yes, and talagang ang advantage talaga nila is yung speed nila. That's right. And off the loose ball, last touch by Rosales. So, ISD basketball. So, I think itong Timber City Academy, they're trying to move the ball uh, even uh, even better here in this ball game. Yes, and it all starts with their leader, uh, Budlao. Kapon, nakita natin si Limusnero struggling. Mm -hmm. Pero yung kasama niya si Budlao, parang si Budlao yung nagiging playmaker niya. And Brian Howe deflected. Ball is loose and... Grabe yung hustle plays here between these two teams. And a nice pass to Ian Pineda for two. So good big man, uh, big to big passing between uh, Arnold Minosa and Ian Pineda for the field goal. Yes. Here comes uh, Raymark Budlao trying to go on the crossover. And looks like there's a foul against Brian Howe. Yes, and uh, Raymark Budlao needs to, needs to lead the way in the offensive end kasi mm. nakikita talaga natin ha, yun, aside sa underrated yung kanyang pag ability to pass mm. kaya rin niyang mag-score yeah, he, wa he wants to score here in this possession pero that bounce pass taken away by Minyosa JP Kudo a oh, beautiful pass to Ian Pineda once again good pass there from JP Kudo eyes at the behind the he has eyes behind, the, behind his head Oy, medyo unexpected yung pass pero good save there by Limusnero and Balikang, uh, uh, the white shirts of Timber City Academy, Gideon De La Cruz for three. And gets the shooter's roll. Another one from Gideon De La Cruz. Really one of the underrated players for Timber City. And one of the underrated uh, skills then in Gideon De La Cruz is his three-point shooting touch. It's now 32 to 30 in favor of ISD Pacman. Brian Howe at the post. Kicks it out. 
with uh, eight seconds on the shot clock. Left-handed, no good. And here comes Timber City Academy now in the push, in transition. Beautiful bounce pass. Limosnero blocked. And Pin Pineda, siya na magdadala sa bola dito. Going coast to coast, Ooh. blocked again by Rosales. But ISD Pacman gets it back. Minosa passes to Mineda, no good. Ball deflected once again. Very active hands here for ISD Pacman. Ian J. Pineda blocked once again by Rosales. On the leak out, taken away by Minosa. JP Kudo on the hop step. Extra pass to Brian Howe, no good once again. What a series of hustle plays we're seeing between these two teams here in yes. the first half. And kudos Timber City for showing off a good display of defense there. Gio de la Cruz, Babalikang Rosales on the outside. Raymark Budlao is open for three. Raymark Budlao from downtown. And balik na sa abante na ng isa itong Timber City Academy Dragons ng Butuan with 6.40 to play dito sa ating first half. Raymark Budlao, talagang gigil na gigil kasi pagkatapos nung game kahapon, they really want to end the season with a bang. That's right. As we take a look at the super shot of the quarter brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance. Panalo sa laro, panalo sa buhay. It's a good ball movement there on that possession leading to an open three-point shot from Raymark Budlao. Yes, and I think that ISD Bachman needs to uh, at least lagyan ng extra pressure to si Raymark Budlao kasi he's really, he's really looking to score here. Budlao once again, hits again! Man. So right place, at the right time, Raymark Budlao with a great jumper there. That's right, a 5-0 run for Raymark Budlao here. As it's now a 35-32 advantage for ICE, uh, for Timber City Academy. Mitisim tira there from JP Kudo. And Raymark Budlao on the push to Gideon De La Cruz. He fires for three. Mintis. JP Kudo secures the board. And almost a deflection there, but there's a foul against Gideon De La Cruz. Yes, and going back to Raymark Budlao, making it look easy in this jumper. Ito yung super play of the quarter brought to you by Converge. I know very common compose itong si Raymark Budlao on that possession, leading to a mid-range jump shot. Yes, and they need more of uh, plays like those from Raymark Budlao. And Yamut hits a three-point shot to make it 35-35. Uh, so tabla na po tayo. So it's... This is going to be a close, high-scoring battle between these two two squads, Joel. Yes, and I think that they need to be more active sa kanila mga kamay, Ray. Kasi oh, oh. alam na alam natin na si Yamut, all season long, we talked about how Yamut is a high-volume shooter. Mm -hmm. Wala man lang taas ng kamay nun. Oh, oh. So there's no help defense there on that possession. That, kaya naipasun yung three-point shot ni Jared Yamut. Now Timber City Academy looking to respond here. Trying to go on the inside pass. Ball was deflected. But uh, still with Timber City Academy with seven seconds sa kanilang shot clock. So inbound pass. Mula kang Orgen Acuna. Looking for a teammate. Oh, that was deflected by Brian Howe. So good help defense uh, on this inbound pass. So seven seconds on the shot clock here for the white shirts. Nakao play! Almost a, almost a block by Brian Howe, but looks like a foul here against Brian Howe, Jewel. Yes, and Ubas read the play there and took advantage. Ngayon, he has the opportunity to extend the lead. I capitalize on uh, being on the lead. So, titira muna ng dalawang free throws ang, I, ang Timber City Academy. And that's... Uh, pasok yung unang free throw shot for Timber City Academy. Make it 36-35 with 5 minutes and 21 seconds to play. And Dito sa ating first half. So far, pretty close battle here between these two teams. And I pass it yung dalawang free throws para kang Christian Lascunia, number 11. It's now 37-35. to 35. That's Lee Constantino, short on the three-point attempt. Good offensive rebound there. Fair good hustle play defensively for the white shirts. Christian Lascunia now on the push in transition. Trying to go coast to coast. And he was fouled once again. He'll shoot two free throws. Christian Lascunia, good play there on being aggressive. Mm -hmm. Kailangan to ng, ng Timber City, especially na, you know, 14 foul na ng ISD Bachman. So Christian Lascunia now going to work here in transition with his uh, free th and coming right up. It's Christian Lascunia's two free throw opportunities. And we're now at the halfway point of the first half as Timber City up by two.
the fastest growing fiber internet got even faster. Again! Dahil ang doble na, di noble pa! Converge Fiber X Plan 15 from 100 Mbps is now 200 Mbps. Doble ulit ang bilis, doble ulit ang sulit. If you're an existing subscriber, automatic upgrade ito. And if you want to make it permanent, just agree to our new terms and conditions. As simple as that, no new application and it's absolutely free. New Converge Fiber X Plan 1.5 Ang dobling sulit new offers from Converge. Doble na, di noble pa! Back to live action dito sa ating PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg dito sa Tagum City, Davao del Norte. And so far, close battle between Timber City Academy Dragons ng Butuan City at ng ISD Pacman mula sa Davao. Yes, and ISD Pacman, naunahan sila ng Timber City when it comes to running. Kaya ngayon, they are down three points na. So, I think that JP Kudo and the gang needs to regroup mm -hmm. and strategize sa plan para at least malamangan din ang Timber City. And here comes the second free throw by Lascunia, two for two from the line, to make it 39 to 35. And we're now at the halfway point of the second quarter. JP Kudo, ibigay ng Jared Yamut, who had a bunch of three-point shots. Now drives closer from the mid-range, Mindis, and rebound once again for Gideon De La Cruz. Sneak out pass, and another beautiful extra pass and the finish. Mula kang Orjen Acuna. Yes, and. Uh, Las Cunha, reading ready noon on the run after the turnover there from ISD Pacman. Another steal for the white shirts. Gideon De La Cruz on the push once again on the fast break. Bounce pass. Christian Las Cunha trying to go inside. Trap. Rosales, extra pass. Now trying to go on the spin cycle. Rosales for three. That was way off. So it's now 41 to 35 still. Timber City Academy as we take a look at the Super Dime of the Quarter brought to you by J Project Clothing Shop. Beautiful leak, leak out pass and another fast break play for Timber City Academy. Yes, and ISD Bachman needs to be ready when it comes to fast break opportunities from Timber City. Kaya ngayon, six points na yung laman. Jared Yamot, gusto makabawe, hits a three once again. Yes, Jared Yamot, don't need to double the post there. Jared Yamot is a high volume shooter and he will knock it down. Kasi kung dodoblihin mo yung isang player at the post, somebody should be open. And that was Jared Yamut who hit the three-point shot. Good deflection here defensively for the orange shirts. Ian Pineda, tatawid. Constantino, back to Yamut. Constantino almost lost it but get, got it back. Defensor, extra pass to JP Kudo from the baseline. And Lee Constantino with the offensive rebound. Drives inside pero good hustle play there for the white shirts and another held ball. Let's see who has possession here. And ball will stay, I believe, for the orange shirts of ISD Pac-Man. So we have some substitutions. Babalik sa laro si Jay Limusnero for Timber City Academy. Yes, and Jay Limusnero is an asset for uh, Coach Joseph's Timber City. Mm -hmm. Kailangan nila na... Ng fast break opportunities na makonvert talaga nila. So, kailangan talaga ng production itong si Jay Lumusnero for the white shirts. Another deflection. Another steal for the white shirts. And in transition, there's a foul against the orange shirts. Yes, and ISD Pacman is getting sloppy in the offensive end. Kailangan nila to run the kung, kung, to run the play kasi meron sila mga moments na, na hindi nila alam kung saan po pwesto. Mm -hmm. Pero I would say very active talaga yung mga kamay, especially from Timber City Academy so far in this first half. Yes, and ang kailangan gawin ng ISD Pacman, pagkapag turnover, baba agad. Especially mm. na kailangan at least one siguro na nakaredy na if ever may leak out, nakaredy na dun sa, na, sa fast break opportunities ng Timber City. At ay pasok yung unang free throw para kang Gideon De La Cruz. If it's a first free throw attempt and his second free throw and gets the bounce. Make it 43 to 38 in favor 
of Timber City Academy Dragons number one city. So a pretty de decent first half performance so far for the white shirts of Timber City Academy over the two and one ISD Pacman. Jared Yamot for three. Yes, yes. sir. Hits it again. Jared Yamot, don't, don't let that man shoot because he will knock it down. So, malat Clay Thompson ang performance dito. Itong si Jared Yamot in this first half. And ball is loose once again. Gino De La Cruz with a good save. And the shot is no good. JP Kudo looking for the hot guy. That's Jared Yamot fires for three. In and out. And good hustle play by Ian Pineda. Mintis pa rin. Ian Pineda with another cleanup job for two. Yes, and now it is a tie ball game. Good run here from ISD Pacman. Oh, ito, si Sobata talaga ito ang nakikita natin sa pagkita ng dalawang teams ng ISD Pacman ng Tiber City Academy. Raymond mm. Budlao switching hands, Mintis. And another push here for the Orange Shirts, Jared Yamot. Good pass to Alced Labawan. Uh, Labawan is in the right place at the right time. And right now, ISD Pacman is on a roll. So ISD Pacman retakes the lead, 45-43. We'll be right back. Meron po tayong dalawang minuto at limang segundo ang natitira dito sa ating first half as ISD Pacman able to retake the lead thanks to the late uh, first half performance from Jared Yamot. Jared Yamot knowing na hindi siguro siya na-scount ng kalaban na he will knock it down especially kung nakababa yung, kalaban, nakababa yung kamay ng kalaban. Mm -hmm. so it's now uh, 45 to 43 for uh, ISD Pacman. So... Let's see what's going to happen here on this possession for Timber City Academy. Raymark Pudlao now hounded by Jared Yamot. Trying to go on the getaway. Skip pass to the right side. Las Cunha, that was way off. Would have been a good hustle play, but that was last touch by the white shirts. Yes, and Timber City needs to be more active in their offensive end. Kasi kanina nakalamang sila dahil sa mga fast break opportunities nila oh. and active hands on the defensive end. Now JP Kudo has it. Jared Yamot has been the hot hand so far in this first half. He fires again. Mintis. Ball is loose. And a good hustle play once again for Jared Yamot. JP Kudo. Bounce pass to Ian Pineda. No good. And Rosales gets it for the white shirts. And Raymark Budlao skying high. No good. And good help defense there for the orange shirts. Jared Yamot. And there's the leak out for Alced Labawan. Lays it home. JP Kudo knowing where his teammates are. I mean, that was Yamot. Oh, balikang Yamot. He fires again. So lately, mintis na yung mga tira ni Jared Yamot. Alced Labawan, balikang Yamot. Extra pass to Alced Labawan. And looks like we have a three-second violation against Hansel Defensor. Yes, Hansel Defensor sleeping in the paint there. And I think the isa sa mga best part of ISD Pacman is they trust one another. Oh, oh. Even though Yamot is known for is shooting, pwede rin siyang mag-playmake. Oh, oh. Yan, isa sa mga underrated play, plays din ni Jari Yamot is his playmaking ability and also his passes. Another steal and Hansel Defensor, Mintis mm. yung tira. Raymar Pudlao now has it. Medyo matahimik pa yung performance in the second quarter. Jared Yamot Oh, beautiful bounce pass Ooh. blocked by Rosales once again. But good hustle play for the Orange Shirts. Oh, and what? Ansel Defensor puts it in and a foul. Yes, binawi talaga ni Ansel, Ansel Defensor. Pagkatapos ng three-second violation niya, oh, oh. they really want to end the first half with a great note, knowing na pagdating natin sa third quarter, another battle na naman. And whoever starts the third quarter with a great spark, yun yung more likely na manalo nito na, na laban. And that is actually Ian Pineda able to hit the shot and makes the three-point play to make it 50-43 to 43 with 27 seconds to play dito sa ating first half. Oh, not, almost a deflection. Good hustle play by Rosales. Now in the hands of Remar Pudlao. 
And the defense has tightened up here for the Orange Church duel. Yes, and nagising na rin talaga sila pagkatapos nung pag-start nila sa second quarter. Knowing na yung pagkata every, every after turnover from the IST Pacman hmm. push agad ang Timber City. And ngayon, realize nila, they made adjustments. And right now, they are up 7 points. So we're down to 14 seconds to play dito sa ating first half. Last shot opportunity here for the Orange Shirts. And we're down to 8 seconds with JP Kuda with the basketball. Going on the skip pass to Jared Yamut with 2 seconds. JP Kudo short on the 3-point attempt. And that is the end of the first half. As ISD Pacman with a good performance led by that guy, Jared Yamut. Jared Yamut. Known as the volume shooter in their team Pero marami rin siya na-dish out ng mga assists para sa kanya mga teammates That's right, so even though medyo dahimi pa yung performance Ni JP Kuda, Jared Yamut steps it up in the first half As we take a look at the second quarter highlights Brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance Panalo sa laro, panalo sa buhay So good um, uh, team passing here for ISD Pacman in this uh, first half so far Pero yes. ito, hindi magpapatalo itong si Raymart Butlao And the rest of the boys of Timber City Academy. Yes, and Timber City, na-realize na siguro nila na kaya nila tong IST Pacman. They need to come back in third quarter. And that is the end of, of the first half as IST Pacman with a 50-43 to 43 lead. Bakit mahalagang life insurance? Yung experience pala na pag ikay nawawala ng mahal sa buhay hindi mo kaya mag-isa. Ang lungkot, 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 sasadsad ka, gagapang ka, iiyak ka. Ang pinakamaganda sa life insurance, it makes life easier para doon sa mga naiwan. Katulad na lamang halimbawa, Manila Bankers Life, para mong kamag-anak, para mong kapatid, na nariyan in your moment of grief. The best way to show your love is to assure your loved one that I will not only take care of you during your lifetime, but I will take good care of you in this lifetime and beyond. Boy abunda po para sa Manila Banker's Life, the best way to show your love.
At balik po tayo sa ating first game sa ating doubleheader as ISD Pacman with a 50-43 to advantage thanks to that uh, performance from Jared Yamuts for three-point shots. Yes, and talagang natulungan din siya ni Ian Pineda with 9 points and 5 rebounds led by their leader, JP Kudo. And take a look at the halftime stats as ISD Pacman shooting well from the field with 50%. And in terms of rebound, ISD Pacman really banging the boards with a 21 to 13 advantage. Yes, and talagang nakatulong talaga yung yung pagiging uh, masipag ni Ian Pineda in the paint. And for uh, Timber City Academy ni ng Butuan City, Gideon De La Cruz was also a difference maker in this first half with 12 points. Samantala, itong si Euphronio Rosales with only two points, but he also had seven rebounds and five block shots. Yes, and talagang. Uh, Ano, binubuo talaga niya yung pagiging role player sa kanyang team. So, as, as we also take a look at the assist uh, numbers, so ISD Pacman has an edge uh, up by three, po, three assists over Timber City Academy yes, so far. Yes, kasi yung ball rotation nila, even si Yamut, na, na isa sa mga high volume scorers nila, hmm. pumapasap, nagpa-play make. I mean, Jared Yamut, not only with his four three-point shots, he also had two assists. Meanwhile, for Prince Tavaro, he also had a good production also with 4 points and 4 assists. Yes, and talagang entertaining talaga yung pinakita ni Rosales at defensive end with and 5 blocks. As we take a look at the highlights between these two teams so far in this first half, so Jay Lumusnera also had a good production for uh, Timber City Academy with 9 points so far. And for uh, the team of ISD Pacman, so Ian Pineda also stepping up here with 9 points and 5 rebounds. Yes, and uh, the reason siguro na mas naging kampante si Limusnero sa kanyang mga shots kasi it was dished out by the returning Raymar Kudlao. That's right. So Raymar Kudlao also had 7 points and 2 assists so far in this first half for Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan City. Yes. As we take a look at this beautiful mid-range jump shot from the elbow. For two of his seven points in the first half. Yes, Raymar Butlao is really the difference maker for Timber City, knowing na if meron siya kapun sa laro nila, mm -hmm. siguro iba yung kwento ngayon. At least siguro they're looking for their second win. Mm -hmm. That's right. So once again, uh, Timber City Academy looks to end their elimination round campaign on a high note. And we would like to thank Manila Bankers Life Insurance, Panalo sa Laro, Panalo sa Buhay. And we're about to start the third quarter. Gideon De La Cruz now has the basketball for the white shirts of Timber City Academy. And yeah, looks like an offensive foul against the white shirts. Yes, and masyadong gigil agad nun from, coming from Timber City. I think na they should uh, select shots na and placements na hindi nalilid sa mga turnovers katulad nun. Now to start the third quarter, here comes GP Kudo with the basketball. Trying to go on the drive to the middle, Jared Yamot. Hits again! That is his fifth three-point shot for Jared Yamot and he now has 15 points. Yes, Jared Yamot flying from the air just to hit the three-point shot. And JP Kudo gets it back for the Orange Shirts. Oh, what a pass! And Hansel Defensor lays it home. What a beautiful vision there from JP Kudo. Yes, good pass there from JP Kudo. Alam na alam niya na kokontes yung kalaban nila. Pero nakita niya si Defensor and... Converts. So he's more of, of a facilitator, itong si JP Kudo, in this ball game. Yes, knowing na ya Yamot is helping the scoring, kailangan din ng ano, assisting. And Jared Yamot hits the shot from transition play and he now has 17. Yes, Jared Yamot heating up. And I think na if ever makuha ng, ng ISD Pacman yung panalo na to, he will be the player of the game. I mean, this could be the best production scoring wise for Jared Yamot in this tournament in the elimination round for ISD Pacman. Jaylee Musnero scoops it up no good. So, so far, a blistering start in this third quarter for the Orden shirts of ISD Pacman, most especially from JP Kudo and Jared Yamo. Yes. Solid backward performance to start the third quarter as we take a look at the super shot of the quarter brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance. Panalo sa laro, panalo sa buhay. Here comes JP Kudo, Ali pass, and Alcin Dabawan with a, with a nice catch. Back outside to Jared Yamot on the hesitation. Extra pass to JP Kudo. Magandang ikot sa bola dito ng ISD Pacman. Minti sing tira. And there's the leak out pass. And the shot is good from Christian Lascunia. Yes. Timber City quickly answering five points after 
Uh, yung run ng ISD Pacman. Uh, Said Laban will, will try for three. Yes! And that's the first three-point shot mula kang Alced Labawan. Lab- Labawan, alam na alam yung corner na nun. Automatic na yun. And that is also part of his game. Uh, one of the underrated skills din para kang Labawan is his three-point shot as Jay Lumosnero knocks it down from about 15 feet. Yes, and I think na nagising na talaga yung ay, ang Timber City dito. Yamat again! That's three-pointer number six. Just like his jersey duel, Jared Yamot from downtown, looking like a young version of Steph Curry. Here comes uh, Jay Lumosnero. Extra pass. Here comes Raymar Pudlao. Trying to make a good production here in this third quarter. Pero not a good communication there offensively. And that's a turnover for the white shirts. As we take a look at the super dime of the quarter brought to you by J Project Clothing Shop. A solid uh, pick and roll play there on that possession for the white shirts of Timber City Academy. JP Kudo, there's a pick. Balik kang Ian Pineda, he's wide open. Minti Sintira from the mid-range. Alced Labawan with a putback for two. Yes, good third quarter here for Labawan. So 15 points na in the third quarter for the orange shirts of ISD Pacman Jewel. Yes, talagang na change na lang narrative when it came to the second half. And mm-hmm. I think kilala rin ng Timber City as uh, a team na kailangan muna maka-warm up muna bago mag keep it rolling I think they're warming up here in this third quarter trying to go on the extra pass and that was deflected by one of the white shirts last touch by Las Cunha. so parang nagboblossom na yung three point shooting itong si Jari Diamot in this ball game Jewel yes and I think na very very entertaining yan dito sa ating PSL 18 under knowing na ma- makikilala ka talaga kahit isang game lang Las Cunha. Oh, that was a block by JP Kudo. And there's the bounce pass. Trying to go on the give and go play. Yamot open again. Good ah! again! That's three-pointer number seven for Jared Yamot. Jared Yamot, very selfless play there. Pagbigay sa kanya, binalik muna niya bago siya nagpwesto ulit. And kailangan talaga malaman ng team. Ay, kailangan talaga itatak sa utak ng Timber City na high-volume shooter yan si Yamot. He is hot as fish grease jewel. Yes, and Jared Yamat will be will be known after this game as one of the premier shooters of PSL 18 under. Watch out, guys. This is a pretty good uh, ball game between these two squads. Raymar Putlao blocked again by mm. Kudo, but good setup job to Rosales for two. Good pass there for, from Putlao. JP Kudo. Now to Alced Labawan. Attacking muna sa loob. Extra pass to JP Kudo. Fires from the outside, knocks it down. There's nothing he can do. Ang ginawa ng isa sa mga players sa Timber City, gis single coverage na nila si Yamut, pero nakalimutan nila tuloy si JP Kudo. So this also na abante ng ISD Pacman with five minutes to play in the starting third quarter. Raymar Pudlao for three, that was short. And JP Kudo now handles the basketball for the Orange Shirts. Now against Raymar Pudlao, Ian Pineda. Attacks Ooh. inside and he was fouled by Rosales and looks like he'll shoot two free throws. Yes, medyo nagigil na talaga si uh, Rosales after a uh, tremendous first half with blocks. As we take a look at the super play of the quarter brought to you by Converge, we have Jared Yamot's one of the seven three-point shots dito sa ating third quarter. And we have a timeout on the floor, ISD Pacman with a big margin. Fastest growing fiber internet got even faster. Again, dahil ang doble na, di noble pa. Converge Fiber X Plan 1.5 from 100 Mbps is now 200 Mbps. Doble ulit ang bilis, doble ulit ang sulit. If you're an existing subscriber, automatic upgrade ito. And if you want to make it permanent, just agree to our new terms and conditions. As simple as that, no new application and it's absolutely free. New Converge Fiber X Plan 1.5. Ang dobling sulit new offers from Converge. Doble na, di noble pa. 
At balik po tayo dito sa loob ng Davao del Norte Sports and Tourism Complex And we would like to thank Converge, the official internet service provider of the Filipina Super League And by J Project Clothing Shop And we would like to also invite to our super fans mula dito sa Tagum City and the rest of the, of the Mindanao region to come and watch our games dito sa loob ng Davao del Norte Sports and Tourism Complex. Admission is free guys. So sa ating mga super fans, feel free to come here dito sa loob ng Davao del Norte Sports and Tourism Complex. Yes, lalo-lalo na na itong mga bata. Isila yung future ng Philippine basketball, especially dito sa Mindanao. Mm-hmm. Knowing na uh, yung makita natin, baka ngayon parang preview nila sa kanilang professional career in the future. And to our super fans out there, seeing these players playing right now, they could be one of the future superstars of Philippine basketball. And the PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg is presented by Manila Bankers Life Insurance, Panalo sa Laro, Panalo sa Buhay. SCD, Perfect Care for Your Skin Dumper Partilis J Project Clothing Shop And it's powered by Converge And Net25 Our official broadcasting partner of the Filipina Super League And supported by MBC Sports Incorporate, Incorporated Our official ball of the Filipina Super League Hotel Sogo So Clean So Good Blue Sky Advertising NW Cube Solutions Incorporated and the PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg is in cooperation with the provincial government of Davao del Norte. As we take a look at the super move of the game brought to you by MDC Sports Incorporated. That's a beautiful fake and the finish courtesy of Orgen Acuna. Orgen Acuna with a great behind fake behind the back pass. Palang mala Rajon Rondo yung galawan ni Orgen Acuna there, Duel. Yes, and what it makes it more entertaining because it he converted it. And plus, may konting ankle breaker dun sa kanyang defender. So 14 seconds on the shot clock for the White Shirts as they're down by 19. Raymar Pudlao needs to score here. He fires from the elbow. Minti Sintira, Alced Labawat. Good deflection there by Raymar Pudlao. Oh, he lost the handle. Ooh. And a solid block there and a good hustle play defensively for Arnold Minyosa. Arnold Minyosa, abtik na abtik, lalo lalo na sa defensive area. So a good heads up play there defensively. Able to block the shot and able to save the possession for the Orden Church duel. Yes, and ISD Pacman has been awake in the third quarter after, you know, being down in the first half. Jared Yamot now hands it off to Arnold Minyosa. Balik ng JP Kudo with 10 to shoot. Drives and deflected by the white shirts. And here comes Timber City Academy in transition. A, a steal once again, and JP Kudo all alone for the layup. JP Kudo to mean pa sa kalaban. And look at this. Bigla na lang naging 21 na ang abante ng ISD Pacman. Yes, and that's the reason kung bakit number two ngayon yung ISD Pacman sa ating standings. And Hansel Defensor with a fake. And the layup is missed. And the shot is uh, shot will not count here. And but there's a foul. Let's see against Ansel Defensor. So it's now 75 to 54 in favor of the Emmanuel School of Davao, Pacman, led by their head coach, veteran head coach Rael Diaz. Yes, and the story of this game is yung pagiging mainit ni Jared Yamut sa three point line. I'm, th- I'm pretty sure this could be the tournament record. Itong si Jared Yamot with seven three-point shots in this ball game. Oh, what a beautiful drop pass! Pero the shot is good this time. Good b- friendly bounce there for Timber City Academy. Yes, and uh, makita natin na talagang single coverage na si Jared Yamot. And Lee Constantino with a good give it go play and the layup. Pero still. Yung maganda sa ASD Pacman, everyone could step up. Hindi lang si JP Kudo, hindi lang si Yamut. Mm-hmm. Even Constantino so could e- make buckets like those. Yeah, that's right. Even the big guys have stepped up defensively here, especially in this third quarter. So, this was a sensational third quarter eruption, scoring-wise, for ISD Pacman. Yes, and Timber City did not expect that. Ngayon, I think na na dapat nag-make agad ng adjustment si, si coach pag, pagkatapos ng run nila. 
Here comes Lee Constantino on a beautiful spin move. Minti Sintira. Arnold Mignosa, triple team, somehow gets it to go. Yes. Yung size differential nila, nakalamang talaga ang IST Pacman nun. Pero when it comes to yung depensa, yung aggressiveness ng Timber City, medyo nag-lie down dito sa second half. Nag-lie low. Mm -hmm. Medyo uh, hindi nag-improve yung depensa dito as Raymart Budlao, still cold from the outside. But good hustle play by Jay Lumosnero, spins out. And a good offensive rebound, put back, count the basket, and a foul for John Chicago. John Chicago, right place at the right time there. Mm, able to make a good position with his offensive rebound put back. And he has a chance for the three-point play with under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Yes, and in order to at least make uh, a chance para maka, maka come back by the fourth quarter, they need to end this quarter with a high note. Yeah, and still, there's still plenty of time here because ISD Pacman, they're not yet out of the woods because there's still one more quarter to go, Jewel. Yes, and good block there. That was from Arnold Mignosa. So even even shots from the perimeter, well defended there by ISD Pacman. Yes, talagang talagang yung intensity ng ISD Pacman from the offense and defensive and naging next level na. Mm -hmm. And off the inbounds, there's a foul against Arnold Mignosa and I believe uh, penalty situation na ang orange shirts ng ISD Pacman. We have 1 minute and 46 seconds to play dito sa ating third quarter. So it's now a 21-point lead. This could be the largest lead of the ball game for the Emanuel School of Davao led by their head coach, Rael Diaz, and led by their hottest shooter of the game, Jared Yamut's seven three-point shots. Yes, and Jared Yamut Still in the ball game, mm -hmm. I believe na gusto pa niyang i-extend yung three-point three record ng PSL 18 under. All right, so we will just check later sa, aming, uh, sa ating statistician on what could be the uh, possible tournament record for Jared Yamut. And uh, looks like off the inbounds, uh, medyo poor yung inbound pass. So di na anticipate to ni JP Kudo. And looks like medyo oh, napatingkiki na lang si ano, Coach Rael Diaz. <laughs> yes, and of course, uh, good good performance in the third quarter sa ISD Pacman. Despite yung turnover, at least na, na, na prove nila kay coach na kayang kaya nilang mag erupt. Yeah, and this is a third quarter eruption, a 29 point third quarter for ISD Pacman. Yes, and it was led by, aside from Yamut, their captain ball, JP Kudo. That's right. So he's one of the top prospects also. From Davao, it's JT Kudo. And stolen away by Raymart Budlao. One man to beat, hanging in the air and scores. Yes, and uh, going back to JP Kudo, JP Kudo does not need to score a lot in order to be an asset to his team. Yamot again. And good rebound by Lee Constantino for two. So Lee Constantino and uh, one of the front court players of ISD Pacman making a difference here. Most especially in the third quarter. So we're under 52 seconds to play into starting third quarter. And it's a nice scoop shot, circle shot there from Raymark Woodlaw. So two straight field goals for uh, Raymark Woodlaw in this third quarter. Yes, Raymark Woodlaw. Medyo off yung kanyang, ang kanyang pang start ng kanyang second half. Pero ngayon, at least naka score score din siya. Kailangan nila mag end this quarter with a high note if they want to come back in the fourth quarter. So, here's the inbound pass to Raymar Pudlao with a one-hander. Medyo kapos na yung tira. JP Kudo now in transition looking to push. Oh, what a move! Pero mintis lang. Brian Howe! He was fouled and he'll shoot two free throws. Yes, Brian Howe. Yung isa, isa sa mga big ng IST Pacman na you, he needs to get it going. To get it going. Ngayon, Nakikita natin, nagiging aggressive na siya and kailangan na ipatuloy ito sa kanilang mga following games. I mean, we're really talking about uh, the backcourt players, JP Kudo and also Jared Yamot, but yung big man nila, Lee Constantino and also itong si Brian Howe, making yes. a difference defensively. Yes, also, uh, Ian Pineda. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we're now under 32 seconds to play dito sa ating third quarter. It's now a 20-point lead right now for ISD Pacman. Yes, and I think na... Uh, Timber City still needs to convert one of their buckets here. And Rosales, oh, that was short. 
And here comes Elosis now on the push once again. Patrick Bagao lays it in. That's good fast break opportunity. Really capitalizing by the ISD Pacman. Not putting the brakes yet. And Gideon De La Cruz will try to make their last say here to end the third. Jaylee Musnero against Brian Howe. Kicks it out to Gideon De La Cruz with three seconds. Kicks it out again. And that's Roy Sino. Start on the, on the jump shot. And that is the end of the third quarter. What a scoring perf uh, performance for ISD Pacman as we end the third quarter with an 85 to 63 advantage over Timber City Academy. Yes, and talagang eruption talaga yun from the ISD Pacman. As we take a look at the third quarter highlights brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance, Panalo sa Laro, Panalo sa Buhay. What a third quarter explosion led by ISD Pacman, most especially from Jared Yamut's seven three-point shots. Yes, and also the playmaking ability of JP Kudo na hindi na niya kailangan na mag-score at mm. as long as involved kanyang teammates, panalo sila dun. He has been the lead facilitator so far in this third quarter for ISD Pacman as they're up by 22 points. And back to live action dito sa loob ng Davnor Sports and Tourism Complex. And we would like to thank MDC Sports Incorporated, the official game ball of the Filipina Super League. And by SCD, perfect care for your skin. And by Hotel Sogo, so clean, so good. So it was a 35-point explosion for ISD Pacman in this third quarter. Yes, and talagang nakakabigay talaga ng confidence boost nito heading into the semifinals but still uh, this is not yet over we might see a comeback from Timber City but it all starts from their leader Budlao and Limosnero mm -hmm, that's right so we're about to start the fourth quarter now here comes JP Kudo the lead facilitator on the offensive end now directing traffic against Gideon De La Cruz and looks like we have an offensive foul here against the orange shirts of ISD Pacman yes and talagang uh, yung ISD Pacman, makita natin na isa sila sa mga survivor of the fittest ng mga, ng mga teams dito. Kasi na, yung nakalaban nila yung Davnor, akala natin na Davnor na siya napanalo noon. Pero oh. ISD Pacman, talagang resilient. Hmm. So, this could be a good test here for ISD Pacman in terms of their resiliency in this uh, fourth quarter. Yes, and I think na when it comes to Timber City, Though, wala pa silang panalo dito, as long as nabigyan ng exposure, exposure yung mga bata nila, I, I believe that yun, yun nakatulong na talaga sa, sa resume sa mga players. And that was a good block there from Brian Howe. And that was a 24-second violation for the white shirts of Timber City Academy. And ISD Pacman controls now. Eloses now on the push in, in transition once again. And ball was deflected. So it's now 22-point lead. And this this is now the largest lead of the ball game for ISD Pacman. Yes, and I think na kailangan ng Timber City to take advantage. Yo, kasi yung leading scorer na si Yamut pinahinga mo na ni coach. Mm -hmm. Now he loses on the hesitation, drives to the baseline, and gets it to go. Currently a 24 lead here. So ito na yung pinakamalaking advantage now for ISD Pacman. We have a minute gone by dito sa ating fourth quarter. So yes. Rim Okay, Raymart Budlao now has it. And ball is loose here and we have a held ball. Yes, and this is a factor na from Timber City being down 24 points ito. It's yung fatigue rate kasi mm -hmm. currently yung kanilang rotation involved talaga palagi si Budlao pati si Limos Nero. And hindi ganun ka deep yung bench ni Coach Joseph. Oh, hindi masyadong malalim yung bench ng Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan City and I think they also missed the production of uh, Jay Sabatin. Yes, that's, that's Jay, uh, number 23. 
Gideon De La Cruz hits the three-point shot. Make it 87 to 66. Still a 21-point lead right now for the ISD Pac-Man. And we have a whistle and a foul against the white shirts of Timber City Academy. Yes, and after the three-pointer ni Gideon De La Cruz. As we take a look at the super shot of the quarter brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance. Panalo sa laro, panalo sa buhay. That was a three-point shot from Gideon De La Cruz. A decent production also for him. Yes, a good first half there. Pero yung pagdating sa second half, medyo nag-tone down yung kanyang laro nun. And another whistle and a foul. So, and to our super fans, uh, karong gabi dito sa Tagum City, most especially from Tagum City and also the, the entire province of Davao del Norte, you can come by. Pwede po kayong pumasok dito sa Davao del Norte Sports and Tourism Complex Gym right at the heart of Tagum City. This is free admission, everyone. So sa ating mga super fans, this is a good opportunity to witness the future bright stars of Philippine basketball. Yes, and nakita rin natin sa mga fans na nandito ngayon, is na-entertain na -entertain talaga sila. Especially na yung mga na-witness nila ng mga players dito ngayon, is one of the best talaga. And we have some top prospects here now in full display dito sa ating Mindanao South Leg, na yung PSL 18 under. And that was a hard foul here against uh, JP Kudo, I believe. Yes, and uh, JP Kudo, hindi na niya kailangan na, na mag-show up more here in sa ating fourth quarter. Eh. As you can see na sinub out na siya ni Coach, it's because kailangan din nila na ipapahinga din siya sa kanilang mga latter games. Especially this could be their final game of the elimination round for both ISD Pacman and Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan City. Yes, and kakaiba talaga yung atmosphere when it comes to yung mga crucial games. Especially, katulad nung ano, Ray, Davnor, pati Max Ballers. Mm -hmm. uh, play after play, meron tayong mga unsportsmanlike fouls and you yeah. know, may, mga, may mga chirping from the crowd. Pero oh. it's what the game is about. Yun yung napaka-excite more sa game. And here comes Eloses, decent production in the fourth quarter for ISD Pacman. It's now 90 to 67. Still plenty of time here for ISD Pacman to make a mark. They have the chance here to have the highest scoring record dito sa ating 18 under Mindanao South Leg. Yes, and ISD Pacman started off slow but kinakabawi rin sa third quarter. And Gideon De La Cruz with the layup to make it 90 to 69 with seven and a half minutes to play dito sa ating fourth quarter. So I would like to give a special shout out to uh, to our friends from the Marinol High School of Panabo, Batch 2013. They're now celebrating their 10th anniversary. So isang pagpugugay sa ating mga mam sir mula sa Marinol High School Panabo. So maying gabi sa, sa tua. Yes, and also I uh, would like to give a special shout out to all the fans of the Filipina Super League 18 under from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Thank you for tuning in. That's right. And Eloses once again. So ito si Eloses making a statement here in this fourth quarter. Yes, Eloses taking advantage of yung, yung playing time kasi mm -hmm. pinahinga na ni coach yung, yung si, si Yamot pati si Kudo. So, so ito mga third stringer players itong uh, ISD Pacman able to showcase their talents here in this fourth quarter especially from Reniel Eloses. Yes, and uh, currently makita natin uh, na both teams Really, really displaying their talents here in our platform. Brian Howe lays it in. So the scoring barrage continues here in this fourth quarter for ISD Pacman as they're up 94-71 with about 6 minutes and 20 seconds to play dito sa ating ball game. So the pressure is still applying here for ISD Pacman, really hounding the players here of Timber City Academy. But good pass. Oh, another block. And that is this time from Patrick Bagao. As we take a look at the super play of the quarter brought to you by Converge. And that was a nice move inside. Spin move to the basket. Mula sa Timber City Academy. That's from Orgen Acuna. Orgen Acuna showing off some handles there. Oh. Now here comes the inbound pass. Roy Sinok with a quick catch and shoot. No good. At nasa bola pa rin ng white shirts and a nice scoop shot. Mula kang Marwin Medina. Marwin Medina. Pin Pinaktisan talaga niya yung, ano ba yun, Pinoy step or Euro step? Either way, it's a pretty solid move there. Mula kang Marwin Medina. Ito, Reniel Oloses trying to go on another pass inside. And a turnover here. 
for ISD Pacman with 5 minutes and 44 seconds to play. Um, do you think this is a safe lead right now for ISD Pacman so far? Yes, and currently, nakita din natin na pinahinga na rin ni Coach si, uh, Limusnero, pati si Budlao. Mm -hmm. And I think na yung nag, nag ko contribute talaga ng scoring lang na naiwan dito is Gideon De La Cruz. Oo. Oh, oh. He now has the, ba ha has the basketball for the White Shirts. Now against Prince Tabaro. Now coming off the bench here in the fourth quarter. Marwin Medina with a step. And the shot is missed. And another offensive rebound. Mintis lang, mintis lang yung tira from Chicago. And rebound secured by the Orange Shirts. Another leak out pass. And the layup is good. Mulakan Jemuel Baliares. Jemuel Baliares really capitalizing on their opportunity here in the second half. Lalo lalo na na when it comes to the semi-final round, talagang magihigpit talaga yung rotation dito ni Coach Rael ng ISD Pacman. I think right now for Coach Rael Diaz, they want to see a good production from the bench as we take a look at the super dime of the quarter brought to you by J Project Clothing Shop. A nice leak out pass from Patik Bagauf to Jemuel. That's Jemuel Baliares. Yes. And we have a timeout of, on the floor. It's now 23-point lead for ISD Pac-Man. The fastest growing fiber internet got even faster. Again! Dahil ang doble na, di noble pa! Converge Fiber X Plan 1.5 from 100 Mbps is now 200 Mbps. Doble ulit ang bilis, doble ulit ang sulit. If you're an existing subscriber, automatic upgrade ito. And if you want to make it permanent, just agree to our new terms and conditions. As simple as that, no new application, and it's absolutely free. New Converge Fiber X Plan 1.5. Ang dobling sulit new offers from Converge. Doble na, di noble pa! And as you can see, uh... This is our, one of our administrative staff mula sa Pilipina Super League. It's now 5 minutes to play dito sa ating 4th quarter. It's now 96-73 with pretty comfortable margin so far for Emmanuel School of Davao squad. Yes, and I think na yung ISD Pacman, kinakapitalize na lang nila yung, yung remaining time dito. Kasi alam naman natin na Kung manalo sila dito, na-solidify na nila yung number 2 spot. And makikita natin pagkatapos nito ng laban kung sino yung magiging number 3 at makakalaban nila sa semis. Oo. Because the top 2 teams will have the twice to beat advantage heading into the semifinal round. Yes, and I think na ISD Pacman really deserves the number 2 seed. Mm -hmm. Now to one second. And the shot is missed from Marwin Medina. But Gideon get, De La Cruz gets it back here for the white shirts. Trying to go on the move and Froy Sinok with a bang shot mean this. Gideon De La Cruz really, really putting it out all there. Oh, oh. Because y yung, yung first quarter pa lang, 12 points na siya. Pagdating sa second half, talagang di drag na lang talaga niya kanyang team. He's trying to giving it all in what could be his uh, their possible final game dito sa elimination round for Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan City. Yes, and I think na kahit anong mangyari dito, yung, yung fan base ng, ng Timber City will be still very proud na naging part ang Timber City dito sa ating tournament. So a solid pick and roll play from Prince Tavaro to Lee Constantino. Okay, and we would like to give a special shout out to Sir Jun Linogon mula sa J Project Loading Shop. So Sir, usak ka maing gabi Yes, sir. Special shoutouts. And on the inside, the shot is missed from Roy Sino. It's now 98-73 with three and a half minutes to play dito sa ating fourth quarter. Yes, and I think, tingnan natin kung who will hit the 100 mark here. Who, who will be the player? Tingnan natin. Here comes the penetration inside. Sobrang tira and another offensive rebound. Baliares Mintis. Very active na sa rebounding itong orange shirts. And we're now at the century point mark for ISD Pacman. It looks like somebody is down here for Timber City Academy. Yeah, I think na bad landing nun. Ano kaya nangyayari? So, Orjan Acuna is now down here on the floor, number one. Looks like he's in pain. He's shaken up right now under the basket of 
ISD Pacman. It's now 100 to 73 in favor of ISD Pacman with three minutes to play in the fourth quarter. And uh, that's Orjan Acuna being helped up by his teammates. That's John Chicago and Marvin Medina. So a good, uh, uh, good character for, uh, for Team Timber City Academy, their spirit of teamwork and sportsmanship. So a, a very uh, well performed. That's a good performance as we take a look at uh, Sir Jun. Uh, sir Jun from J Project Loading Shop. So special shout out to you, sir. Nagkangayin salamat sa iyong pagsubaybay sa atong Pilipinas Super League 18 under Mindanao South Leg. So I'm pretty sure he really enjoys the basketball action dito sa loob ng Davao del Norte mm. Sports and Tourism Complex dito sa Tagum City. It's now 100 to 75 with 2.45 to play sa ating fourth quarter. Yes, good up and under there from Chicago getting his own rebound, finishing. So it looks like the winning momentum has come back here so far for ISD Pacman in this ball game against Timber City Academy Jewel. Yes, and I think na ISD Pacman really deserves uh, this. Yung run nila throughout the tournament, mm -hmm. they were always the underdogs. Pero ngayon, I, th I think na yung ISD Pacman deserve na deserve tong panalo na to. Oh, oh. I mean, uh, they have a very solid backcourt of JP Kudo and Jared Yamut, and also their big man from Lee Constantino, Arnold Minosa, and also Brian Howe. Yes, and I think that in order para mapatuloy nila yung run na to, they need to capitalize on JP Kudo and Jared Yamut, especially yung mga bigs ng ISD Pacman na napaka underrated. Mm -hmm. And for sure, mm -hmm. well scouted ito sa who, who could be the possible opponent dito sa ating uh, semi-final round. Yes. And we're heading into the final two minutes of the ball game as ISD Pacman looks like they could be on their way to three wins and one loss to end their elimination round campaign. Here comes Jared Yamut coming into the ball game now. Looks like he wants to keep his uh, three-point shooting touch going heading into the semi-finals. And Chicago Mintisintira. Another leak out pass to Lee Constantino. And we're under 90 seconds to play in the starting ball game. So, but kudos also to Timber City Academy. They had a valiant effort in this uh, elimination round campaign. Sa PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg. Yes, and nobody, uh, hindi, hindi pa natin kilala yung Timber City before nito na liga. Pero dahil dito na liga, marami tayong mga na-witness na mga magagaling na players. Katulad ni Budlao, Limusnero, and Gideon de la Cruz, and the others. Mm -hmm. So, naipikita nila yung kanilang angking ta talento and skill set ng Timber City Academy on a wider national audience. So, still a pretty good, uh, a very good campaign for Timber City Academy led by their head coach Joseph Bondok and, his, and the rest of the coaching staff of Timber City Academy. Yes, and kudos to everyone who supported Timber City. Lalo lalo na yung yung uh, mga behind the scenes na mga parents, na mga supporters natin. Thank you for being part of their experience. That's right. So now at the line for two free throw shots, that's John Chicago. So he had, a, he also have a pretty good production in this ball game right now for John Chicago. Yes, John Chicago, uh, great second half here. Kailangan nila na, na at least na by the end of the game, at least meron silang napakita na na flashes na they could make it in the big leagues someday. That's right. So definitely, who knows? One of these players from Timber City Academy could be one of the future stars of Philippine basketball. Yes, and napaka exciting talaga to na liga, and it gave a platform for these young kids to showcase their skills. Now Jared Yamos has seven three-point shots in this ball game. Bibigay kang Lee Constantino still trying to score here to finish their elimination round campaign. Mintising tira. And we're heading into the final 28.1 seconds of the ball game. Yes, and I think now they don't need to shoot here anymore, but they decide they will 
Timber City not allowing them. And Lee Constantino lays it home and a foul to make it 102 to 78. I think this could be the tournament record for ISD Pac-Man. Yes, and uh, ISD Pac-Man needs to regroup here and be ready for their semifinal round and tingnan natin kung sino mananalo against Dav Nor and Cantilan. Because uh, on our second game later, this will determine who will be the possible opponent of ISD Pac-Man heading into the semifinal round. So we're under 19 and a half seconds to play dito sa ating ball game. Yes, 14 seconds on the shot clock. But on steel. And the ISD Pac-Man squad will be on their way to a 3-1 and one record dito sa ating PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg Elimination Round. And that will do it. No shot here for ISD Pac-Man. And that is the end of the ball game. Yes, kudos to both teams on ending their uh, season on a, on a high note. Especially uh, ISD Pac-Man na yung, yung lalo, lalo na si Yamod na who hit seven three-pointers in this ball game. Very impressive. And a congratulations also for uh, Timber City Academy mula sa Butuan for a decent campaign in the PSL Mindanao South Leg. As we take a look at the fourth quarter highlights, brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation, Banalo sa Laro, Banalo sa Buhay. ISD Pacman dominating in scoring in the second half so far, Joel. Yes, and uh, makita natin dyan sa ating mga highlights na talagang aggressive lahat ng players. Pero, depende na talaga when it comes to when it comes to mga crucial. Kaya pagdating dun sa third quarter, eruption from ISD Pacman. And here's our final score. ISD Pacman 100 and Timber City Academy Dragons 80. An excellent performance led by the seven three-point shots mula kang Jared Yamut. Yes, and talagang napaka-impressive na ginawa niya. Especially na si JP Kudo na yung usually na player of the game nila. Oo. Uh, Nagko-contribute sa playmaking side. Ngayon si Yamut. Kakaiba. At wag po kayong bibitin na sa ating mga superfans kasi up next, we have Cantilan RP Braveheart Gugmark contra sa hometown Davnor Future Legends and the game will start at around 6 o'clock at night. So, wag kayong bibitin na sa ating mga superfans. We still have another game sa ating doubleheader sa ating PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg Elimination Round. And that is the end of our first game sa ating doubleheader tonight. Ako po si Ray Alonsagay. And ako si Jewel Evangelio. At maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsubaybay sa ating PSL 18 under Mindanao South Leg. Ito ang Pilipinas Super League. Ito ang Liga Ko.